Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This is the clinical section of our neuroscience program, which is related to basic dentistry. This afternoon, we've got a patient with us who complained initially of pain in the right temporomandibular joint area. Let us first ask Karen what her first complaint was. When did this happen, Karen? In a collusion clinic. Um, the next day, I couldn't open my mouth. What were you actually doing to start this? Oh, I've been grinding my teeth for three years, but then in the lab, like I opened, we are, I was putting my jaw in all sorts of positions. In other words, this is a strained position that has caused this. At this stage today, have you got any symptoms of soreness anywhere around the face area? Yes, I do in my mass eater muscles and in my right temporal mandibular joint. So it's the right section. Now, as you, you have already learned, the first thing to do is palpations. And we'll just palpate the right side. And first of all, put your chin up and we go for digastric muscles. And you notice this is where we put our digastric electrodes. The next is masseters. And this is where we put our masseter electrodes. Temporalis, just clench for me. Relaxed, and you'll see the movement. And once again, this is where our temporal electrodes. Two muscles that we can't reach with surface electrodes are, just open wide, the medial pterygoid, just open as wide as you can. Karen can't open too wide, which we can get over there, and then the lateral pterygoid turned right behind. At this stage, we'll ask Norma to place the remaining electrode on for you to see what electrode placement involves. Norma, would you just show this placement? The area of the skin is first cleared with alcohol, and any makeup or loose scales are removed. This has already been done. Next, some conduction paste is placed on the spot. A silver electrode is now placed on top of this conduction paste and stuck with an adhesive. Now if we look at our monitor screen, we will notice traces going across. Now the top trace is the phase plane. Perhaps the next trace is a microphone to tell us tooth contact. The next is the right temporal. The next the left temporal, right master, left master, and digastric group. Let us see what happens when Karen clenches tight. Just clench tight. Notice the activity. Relax. Now completely relax. And notice her musculature is fairly relaxed. Now we're going to ask her to do some basic procedures which she performed yesterday while a TMJ fluoroscope was being taken. First of all, just open wide and close, relax, close, move to the right, back again, move forward, back again, move to the left, back again. And notice the activity of that, the third trace down, which is the right temporal when she moved to the right, and then it alternated when we moved to the left. I'd like to show you the movements Karen performed during a fluoroscope examination of the temporomandibular joint. Opening, move to the right, protrude, move to the left. Now this is the right temporomandibular joint. Opening, move to the right, protrude, back again, and to the left. This is the left temporomandibular joint. Once again, opening, Notice the condyle coming forward. Now to the right.
now protrude and to the left. Notice the idling condyle. Now we would like to watch Karen and the scope while performing exactly the same procedures. Can we see that? And Karen is superimposed so we can see what she's doing. Okay, Karen, just start. Okay, now give us a clinch, a nice hard clinch. Notice the activity, relax. And that gives us a relationship of how much activity she's using to, to what she can use. At this stage, we will now get Karen to chew some chewing gum for us and see, see the EMG activity at the same time as chewing the gum. Norma will give Karen a piece of chewing gum at this stage. It, does it, is it painful for you to chew gum at this stage, Karen? Not much. Not much. All right. Just chew on the right-hand side, if you would, for us first up. Okay, just keep chewing on the right side. Now if we can see the scope at the same time. Now if we can have Karen's jaw superimposed to see the chewing activity. Just keep chewing on the right. That's fine. Just keep chewing. And notice the nice even activity which wasn't evident when she had pain. Now chew on the left side, please, Karen. There's a slightly different pattern developing, both in the velocity and in the muscle activity. Now just chew three on the left, three, three on the left for me. One, two, three, and now three on the right. Shifting the gum over. One, two, three. And you'll see that difference in the activity on both sides. At this stage, we will return, and if we can have a superimposition of Karen doing an open, close, and clench again for us, we'll, you can take the gum out if you like, Karen. All right, Karen, you can start now. Do it five times for me. Now, notice that was fairly irregular. A patient with no pain at all will superimpose one on top of the other. This time, Karen, do it a bit harder, faster, and definite, and see if we can get more regularity. Now, that was a better trace. And so you can see that you can educate the patient to control their opening and closing. Open now and close. Open wide, close. Open wide, close. Now, if you remember the slide I showed you previously, Karen could not do that. She deviated to one side. This jaw jerk, or un unloading reflex, I'm going to produce this in this case by first of all asking Karen to bite as tight as she can, and then I'm going to tap her jaw smartly with the hammer. Now, if you're ready, Chuck, okay, ready, go. Now, have a look on the, um, the scope and see if we recorded that. We'll get Karen to bite a bit harder this time and do it again. Okay, um, now, uh, clear that for me, Chuck. Okay. okay, now, biting as hard as you can. Okay, ready, go. Do that again, Chuck, sorry. There we are. Did you see that? Can you see the reflex right in the center? And that... That's the unloading reflex because it unloads the force between the teeth. 
And there's our silent period right in the center of the screen. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.